All right, so what's up guys? So today we're gonna be showing you guys how to use this new special adapter, Carly adapter. Um, it can unlock special features, especially coding, um, diagnostic. There's a lot of cool features on this app that you guys could use on your BMW. So let's go ahead and show you guys. All right then guys, so with the Carly adapter, we gotta go ahead and connect it at the OBD2 port down below wherever your guys is located. Connect it. So if the light's not on, make sure to turn it on. That's off, on. Put in your key, ignition. Turn it on. Don't turn on the car all the way, just put it on on, accessory on. Then you guys will need to download the Carly app for BMW. All right, before you guys, you guys will get this main page right here. Uh, you guys will need to choose whatever vehicle you guys have. For my car, would be a E92 gasoline, and then it'll ask for the years of 2011. Then you guys will need to have to connect the Bluetooth adapter, which is the Carly adapter down below. Make sure it's on before you try connecting. Connect. Connect to car. Let it establish connection. As soon as it says successful connection, okay and go. So this, it would pull up all these features for your car. These right here for diesel, I would ignore these, but it has multiple features. Diagnostic, coding, parameter, service. If you get a new battery, you can register the battery. Today we're gonna show you one cool feature you could do on your car. On the E92s, they have the seatbelt feature where it pulls the feature. Let me show them. Well, I personally don't like it. The feature where you guys close the door and it pulls the seatbelt for you. That's one main reason why I don't like it, it tends to miss. So we're gonna be getting rid of that, where to the point it'll just, it won't, it'll basically stop working. We're gonna code it out just for it not to pull the seatbelt forward anymore. All right then guys, so, so, we, so that we could get rid of that feature, we gotta go into coding, continue coding. Let it do its thing. There it does its, its checking, okay. These are all the features you could code in the car. Comfort, heating and engine dash, which is the instrument cluster, lights and mirrors, wipers, seatbelt, and video and motion legal disclaimer. That's mainly if you wanna watch movies while driving. So we're gonna be going to the FRM module, which is lights and mirrors. Okay. Load backup is so that it could keep your stock features just in case for any reason there's some sort of update and it doesn't have the coding for you to go back to stock features. It's always good to do a load backup. There I have multiple ones just in case if I want to go back to stock. We're going to be doing read from car. Work without it. We're going to click OK. So right here is going to show you all the sort of features that it has. If you don't really know what they are, you could click on whatever feature you want to do and it will give you a description of what it is exactly. So right now, we're going to go to seatbelt handover on driver. Right now I have it on on. So I want to get rid of it. So we put off and then we put code car. It's gonna give you some disclaimer for for legal issues. We're gonna put code anyway. S scroll all the way down. Understood. Okay. Now it's coding the car. After it's finished, it's gonna ask you to turn off the ignition. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead, turn it off, remove key, turn it back on, and then we're gonna try it out. Open the door, close, 
now it doesn't do it anymore. So that's one cool feature of multiple features you could do on the Carly app. One cool feature I do like on it as well is the diagnostic feature. This feature literally runs all sorts of uh, diagnostic in every single module in the car. As you can see, the motor, brakes, airbags, transmission, instrument cluster, every single module that's in the car. And it shows you down below how many modules are in the car. And this one has 42 modules. We're going to do a quick diagnostic. Right now it's scanning all throughout the car for any faults in every single module. After it does its scanning and then it will give us codes for whatever's wrong with the car. So right now it's going through all the modules. Right now we have two faults and then I'll add up to how many faults there is at the end of the diagnostic. Okay, So it's done with its diagnostic. It, there's three faults that it gave us so we're gonna click OK. We're gonna click show faults. So right now it's showing us two faults for the O2 sensors basically, the catalytic converters. And that's mainly since I'm catless right now. Um, I don't have any sort of tune or anything like that so and I do have a check engine light on just for that so it lets you know exactly on this side which whatever is in red is telling you where were the faults were at so you could click on motor it's going to show those motor faults systems tire pressure I don't have a tire pressure light on right now but it's probably it's probably telling us that the tire pressure monitoring system has to be reset or it could be something else, but as of right now, I don't have any issues. Uh, another cool feature, if you guys ever want to do a DIY on replacing your own battery, and you guys always need to make sure you guys register the battery whenever it gets replaced on your BMW. You could always register your new battery through here. I'm not going to go through with it since I'm not changing the battery, but that's a good pretty cool feature I like as well another cool feature that Carly has is use car feature this basically lets you know if it's another sort of diagnostic for the car if you're getting a new car it lets you know if, if it's been tampered with or any sort of issues like that so right now it lets us know that the VIN is found all throughout the car and it's the correct VIN the same with the mileage uh, it lets, lets us know if it's been tampered or not. Um, average speed, if the person, previous owners, how they drive the car basically. Slow, fast, drove it hard. So let's go ahead and click in one of them. So right here it lets us know from everything from the engine to lights and the ignition that the VIN is correct and on every single module. Miles. See, it shows us in kilometers. So right here on the graph that it's showing us, it's uh, showing us in the middle, which is about average for the mileage that the car has right now. It does show in kilometers. If you don't know kilometers to miles, you could just convert it. Average speed. Average speed that the car is driven at most of the time is at 32 kilometers as well like before if you know kilometers you can switch that to miles per hour other data lets you know when the car was manufactured when they rolled out of the factory so this is a very good feature if you do plan on buying a new car and you really want to see if it's in good condition and nothing's been tampered with before we're gonna do this last feature parameters which is a really cool feature um, this one lets you see basically the live data of your car. For example, th this right here is showing the water pump speed, ambient temperature, which is temperature coming in to the motor, uh, the voltage and temp for the water pump, your oil pressure, battery voltage, rough ideal time. I really don't know what the fuck that is, honestly. And you could always switch 
there's multiple features that you could read live if you don't want to read these six that are shown right here there's multiple other ones O2 your basically your air fuel ratio your camshaft sensors timing throttle valve air pressure ambient temperature and pressure battery voltage boost pressure there's many many features which is pretty cool you can see if your car is running well or not for you mechanics out there that know how to use this sort of data correctly or know how to read it all right guys so if you guys are interested in getting a carly app uh, we will have a link down below that will take you guys straight to the website to buy one um, if you guys do have any sort of questions how to use it or any sort of help if you guys need any help on it just go ahead and message us down below on our IG or even comment down below we'll go ahead and respond as quick as possible and like always guys stay tuned peace yeah guys and so like you was saying pretty much this adapter is just good for the average person if you just want to check up on your car you get like the same features as having like a scan tool to an extent you know you can read some of the uh, diagnostics going on with it you can code things there's so many things on there such as like Dante did with the um, seat belts you can take off like your seat belt uh, chime that goes off like when you don't have your seat belt on you can do a digital speedometer um, just a bunch of stuff change the brightness of your angel eyes the way your windows rolled up, just a bunch of things. So if you guys want to go ahead and purchase that, you know, like Dante said, we got the link down in the description. And yeah, guys, always stay tuned for more on Primus Auto Works. Peace.